And so, Father, we just stand here and accept that the word of the word you are giving us will change life. The word you are giving us will give wings back to the eagles to fly. The word will change nations in Jesus' name. Be seated. Be seated. I want to share with you on the mystery of prayer. I just want to, we will do a prayer series. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 13 to 20. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 13 to 20 in NIV. Let's run. Therefore put on. Can we read it together? Therefore put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes you may be able to stand your ground and after to stand next verse stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place next verse and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace next verse in addition to all this take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one next verse take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god next verse and pray rise at this point stand up stand up stand up stand up let's change position let's change position this is this is going to be an intentional raising on of an army I want to send you on a mission to your family to your destiny to your business it's, something has to change in your life from this day let's go back to that scripture i want us to read as you stand and pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests with this in mind be alert and always keep on praying for all the sins next verse pray also for me that whenever I open my mouth words may be given to me ah glory 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 you want to put your hands together just next verse next verse next verse for which I am an ambassador in chains. Lastly, pray that I may declare it fearlessly as I should. Now be seated. You see, Paul has made mention of pray four times in two verses. Pray always in the spirit. Pray for all the sins. Pray for me that I may have watched when the occasion comes for me to teach, to speak, that I may have words. Pray that I may speak fearlessly four times. Number one, pray your own, pray your own prayer. That one is every time, at all times, every time in the spirit, pray. And then after you have prayed for yourself, pray for all the sins. And then thirdly, pray for me. Now, the apostle of apostles. Now, the apostle of the Gentiles, the man who worked more miracles than all other apostles, who reached more souls than, who prayed, who, who prayed in tongues more than every other one. He is asking you. Now, this is like how many years ago? Two, more than uh, 2,000 years ago or so. If Paul is still saying, pray for me. That one, I may have words when I have opportunity. Oh, my goodness. That I may have words when it is time to and then after that when words have come that i may pray i may speak boldly so pray give me what paul is saying is that give me words through your prayer and give me boldness to speak the words through your prayer i want to tell you something prayer is spiritual activity you're going to write down a few things prayer is what spiritual activity now in in the physical realm if you can just stay active at the right proportion of being active, your heart's pumping and blood circulating, so many things we call sickness will not come to you. A lot of sickness comes because of inactivity. The body not being, not moving enough. I came to discover this. So your health, your health is tied 
to activity, your being active. When I mean activities, being you know up and about and doing things, engaging, pushing, pushing things, kicking, jumping, laughing, talking, shouting. This is it. Why our 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 grandfathers and grandmothers, if you discover they live longer than we live now. Why? They were active every day of their life. They walked miles to go to the farm, miles to go to the market, miles. It was, if they didn't walk, they had bicycle. And that is a serious exercise. So, they, they lived with fresh things from the ground and then lived active. That there was no lazy person. Because of that, you see some you could see somebody at 70, 80, still carrying things, still climbing to tap wine, climbing to cut down this and all that, bent over and yet strong. Why? Being active. The same thing spiritually. Prayer is your spiritual activity. Prayer is the way by which your spirit remains active. I don't know whether I'm talking to somebody. If I'm talking to you, can I see your hand? Now the point is this. If you see somebody who wakes up in the morning, from the moment you wake up till the day you, the time you go to bed, you don't move from where you are. You stay there. Give that person some time. We'll have a heart attack. We'll be obeys will have depression the people will live a useless life sincerely if you have never known this know it the same way spiritually no matter how anointed you are no matter how holy you are if you don't stay active if you don't stay up and about eventually you will have spiritual heart attack you will die I'm sharing revelation with you now Paul says something. Let's go back to what Paul said. Three, four things she said to me about prayer. Pray, not sometime, always. Where? In the spirit. While you are with your wife in engagement, pray. While you are at work, do what? Pray. You are driving, you are talking, pray. You are in the farm, pray. You are in church, pray. You are just in the spirit. It does not necessarily mean you should no. It is in your spirit. Stay in the presence of God. Engage. Be active in the spiritual. That's what Paul is saying. The same way that if you stay active physically, sickness will not bring you down. If you eat right, eat the right word of God spiritually and stay active if spiritually in prayer nothing brings you down if something brings you down you get back up why because you have immune system your spiritual immune system is strong can i tell you the secret of the greatest man on uh, the greatest man of god on earth is in prayer when you see this man is anointed those who are just gifted who can see prophecy who can do that you know, somebody who is anointed and has vision and has beautiful gifts may not even be alive. There's something called the spirit of revelation. Somebody can have it as a spirit, but not as a life. The greatest man of God, such a person who just operates in the spirit of prophecy or the spirit of healing, watch that person. He will not be up to 10 years. Those gifts will die. And the person will live in the past. If he's still operating, he will start manipulating people, telling people lies, but the gift had gone. Prayer is the only way by which you stay active in the spirit. Prayer is the only way by which you do things. Let's step it down. Paul says, number one, pray all the time. It means breathe prayer. What did I say? Breathe. What do you do every day? What, do, what is it that you do every time, every day? Breathing. There are some days you don't take your bath. There, are, there comes a day in life you may not have the, you may not have opportunity if you are traveling in between places. You can be on the road you didn't have your bath. There are days you don't eat. There are days you don't do certain things. But there is no day you don't breathe. The day you don't breathe is the day you died. So Paul is telling you the same way that you breathe to live, pray to live spiritually. I don't know what I'm talking to somebody. The secret of doing things. Let me step it down. Paul said something. Pray all the time. So for yourself, you are not supposed to pray in the night and in the day. 
For yourself, you are not supposed to pray in a prayer meeting. For yourself, you are supposed to pray. Go to verse 18 of that scripture. Let's see. And pray in the spirit on what? All occasions with all, not some kind, all. That means there are different kinds of prayer. We shall talk about them in the future. There is prayer as petition. There is prayer as execution. There is prayer as implementation. There is prayer. <laughs> there are diverse prayer. It means don't pray one prayer. In every occasion, some occasions will mean interceding, go ahead. And you know, similar in every occasion requires certain kinds of prayer. Deploy prayer. When you are sad, pray prayer of sadness. When you are weak, Pray the prayer of weakness. When you are okay, pray the prayer of somebody who is okay. When you are broken, pray the prayer of somebody who is broken. All kinds, all kinds of prayer. I don't know when I'm talking to somebody. Re corresponding to all kinds of situation you find yourself. Corresponding to all kinds of experience. All kinds of mood. You don't pray like, you don't feel like praying. Then pray the prayer of somebody who doesn't feel like praying. You don't want to, you don't feel like praying, you know, studying the scripture, then pray the prayer of somebody who doesn't feel like, you know, you feel like giving up on, the, on God, you don't know, then pray the prayer of somebody who's tired. All kinds. Let, let, let's go back. You are looking at me as if you are not in a situation. Currently, now you may be depressed. Then pray the prayer of a depressed person. I'm tired of being depressed. Men do say, when shall you visit me? You are talking. You are sick. Lord, when will you heal me? You heal me. So every occasion, if your daughter just landed a beautiful job and things have changed, there is a prayer there. Thanksgiving. Gratitude. Am I talking to somebody? So Paul said, for you, all occasion all kinds he said all what occasion all kinds of prayers and what request ask him for something you are discouraged ask him for something is an occasion that means there is no situation you meet yourself without a corresponding prayer you are falling into sin ask him for forgiveness don't stay there pray a corresponding prayer look at david in psalm 27 said the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear that's a prayer of boldness in psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd there is nothing I shall want. Some of dependence on God's provision. Uh, in Psalm 125, as mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord God surrounds uh, the psalm of confidence in God. So all kinds. Then in Psalm 51, uh, show me mercy according to the plentifulness of your mercy. Show me. Do not cast me away from. No, prayer because he had fallen into something. If you look at the Psalms, the Psalms are prayers of different occasions. Mommy, there is never a time you say, Akamiba, that there's no need for you to pray. In that situation, you see yourself. There is a corresponding prayer. Go about it's an occasion, and there is an, a prayer form for it. So you pray. Why? Because if you, if you don't pray, you die. The same way that if you are no longer active, if your heart is no longer pumping blood, circulating blood to your brain and to anywhere you die. Let me tell you, the mere fact of walking, the mere fact of walking could be the greatest medicine you have on earth. The sole of your feet is mapped. They all correspond to every part of your body. So every time you touch and walk like this, you are touching different parts of your body. The same thing with prayer. There's a prayer that, that keeps your spiritual emotion running. There is a prayer that keeps your spiritual brain working. There's a prayer that keeps your spiritual heart and arteries working. There's a prayer that keeps your finance working. There's a prayer that keeps your gifts working. There's a prayer that keeps your husband working. There's a prayer that keeps your wife working. There's a prayer that keeps your children from immorality and drugs and occult. There is a prayer that prevents accident. No, all occasion has prayer. Who is here that is ready to enter into the midst of prayer? Stand up wherever you are. It says, in every occasion, I submit myself to corresponding prayer in my weakness. Because if you don't pray, you die. Paul said, pray for me. Pray. Pray for yourself. Pray for me. Just pray. Pray, 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 pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be seated. Let me learn one last point. One last point. Can I tell you something? 
prayer is the way by which we do things in the spirit. I talked about spiritual activity. The same way we walk by my walking or my physical activity I can push down this thing. If this thing is standing on my way in my spiritual activity I can either jump over this thing. Spiritually the way by which you get things done is prayer. You remove obstacles from your path by prayer. You call forth what is not in you by prayer. There is somebody who needs to meet you to give you what you need by prayer. When people say, I, I started building, I couldn't finish. You finish building spiritually in prayer before you have it spirit physically. Can I tell you something? You clear the ground prayer before you build spiritual. So it is by prayer you change things. By prayer you organize things. By prayer you have order. Prayer orders your marriage. Prayer orders your children. Prayer. There is prayer as prophetic declaration, but it is prayer. That's why I say all occasions. There are occasions that you don't need to say, Lord, give me. You just say, the Agusum, get out of this place. Lift up your head, O ye get, and be lifted up, O ye everlasting door. That is prayer. It's just that it's a dimension of the prophetic in prayer. If you don't pray, you die. If you don't pray, you are poor. You stay poor. I have seen prayer do impossible things. Isaiah chapter 5, 45 talks about that God going before you leveling mountains. With prayer you level mountains. With prayer you overcome nations. Witches and wizards don't have power over you if you know how to pray. They will attack you but they will not have their way. That is why when a witch or a wizard lives with you and you live in the dimension of prayer two of you cannot live for too long one must go for another to live why because every day what it does in cbd whatever it puts like this in prayer you come and put it aside it turns things upside down but in prayer you turn it around you just keep on that's what we are talking about prayer that somebody confuses you spiritually and you go pray every time i come out of prayer my eyes are clear my mind is clear I think through your which your riches your wealth is waiting for you in the place of prayer when you are a man of prayer there is a day you want to go out as you are talking to God in your spiritual activity because it is in prayer you talk to God and every time you talk to God God is talking back because it's communication so if you don't pray you don't talk what you need to talk spiritually and you don't have opportunity to hear so if you are a prayerful person there are certain days and certain things you want to do and you wake up and feel in your spirit it is not right that could be destruction so that means in prayer you travel in prayer you go to your village which is and which are they travel from their village to your shop to do things but in prayer you have opportunity to go and build walls around them so they don't even travel and shut their eyes in prayer you slap people in prayer you knock people in prayer you bury people there is a man of god during fasting and prayer the 40 days i've talked about this at different moment a man of god during fasting and prayer was praying at some moments in a trance he was not asleep just standing he saw in his spirit an evil man that lived was their neighbor who swore they will not build their house who swore that they will never build their house the man of god saw him in his spirit and said if you try that thing because that man was sending demons to confuse if you send those demons again they will come back and kill you that afternoon the man fell and died what was it that he was talking suddenly something like something came upon him and his tongue came out and he fell and died in prayer somebody had knocked somebody you are living fire in prayer the greatest attack of the devil is prayer the reason the devil wants you to have hate in your heart is so that you don't pray the reason the devil wants you to live in immorality so that you don't pray the reason the, the, the devil wants you to live a life of rebellion not obeying god so that you don't pray because if you don't pray you will die it is by prayer you cut down trees the revelation upon which we stand here upon which i resign god god told me if you know like you know the joshua told the sons of the sons of Ephraim, the sons of joseph Ephraim and manasseh 
He said, if the land, the portion given to you is too small, go to the land of the giant. Go and cut the forest. Clear those uninhabited, in, uninhabited land and take over. He said, we cannot. They have chariots of iron. He said, you can because you are mighty and powerful. I said, okay. So there are grounds. Some people will say yes. Let us see how many Catholics will follow him to form the congregation. That's not my work. Just clear the ground. Way I read. Just clear. You don't have power to go to their homes and bring people. But you have power to pray in the night. People have told me, you came to my dream and was delivered. You came to my dream. I was healed. No. It's about, I went to work. And in that work, it meant that something had to be pulled out of somewhere. If it will become a prayer church, somebody will come into this place and love God and repent if we will be an assemblage of praying people rise patrick grace henry is the president grace family commonwealth of champions worship with us every sunday 8 30 a.m champions university and subsequently extended family assembly 10 a.m aired live on planet 101.1 fm uyo venue caution kilometer 14 Mwaniba Road, Ekamban Sukara, Uyo, Akwaimom State. Join us live on Facebook and YouTube at Grace Family Outreach and via the Christ Radio app. This program is sponsored by the Covenant Partners and Friends of Grace Family Outreach. You can be part of this Grace Revolution by becoming a partner today. To all our partners and friends, we say thank you. For prayers, counseling and inquiries, please call 818 43 3225 or 0907-383-8742. Grace Family, raising champions from ordinary people.